Hello, this is Edward Kranz, the Honey Badger Binder of Book Forge, and today we are lifting end papers off of Bookboard. In this nine and a half minute video, we will be looking at the tools and techniques used to remove the old end paper for future use. The first third of the video is in real time. I wanted to illustrate the fact that you need to go slow with this process. Each book is different, and sometimes the end paper lifts effortlessly. Other times, it can be a real bugger. The other two thirds of the video is mostly speed ramp to double speed to show you the entire process, but also be mindful of your time. The last minute or so is regular speed as the end paper comes away from the board. I'm using razor sharp lifting knives designed by the noted bookbinder and conservator, Jeff Peachy. They are some of my favorite blades. The goal is to get under the paper and separate it from the board. That may sound easy, but it's not. Many books have the end papers drummed on. That is to say, they are only glued around the edges of the paper and the middle is loose. This book is thoroughly glued out. I start at a location that has a natural separation and I work my blade between the paper and the board. I need to have controlled movements to avoid cutting through the paper or slipping and tearing the paper. This process can be frustrating, but once you get in good, you can use a larger knife to start moving the opening down the edge. Once I have a good start, I focus on the side edges. The changes is level from the cloth turned ends from the board and then to the decorative cover paper can cause some issues if you only work lifting from the spine edge of the board. Working the edges helps get over these hurdles. If you run into an impasse, just start again in another area and keep lifting. I usually have the boards elevated off the table deck, either on a board or other objects so I can operate the blade in the same plane as the paper in the board. In this case, I'm working directly on the table. The only real secrets are slow and consistent movement. Oh, yes, and patience. This is not a process you want to rush. I'm lifting this end paper because the client wants to keep the writing on the paste down, which will be affixed to the new paste down once the book is rebound. You'll notice that some of the board has come away with the paste down. It's difficult to avoid this. Not impossible, mind you, just difficult.
You'll notice that some of the board has come away with the paste down. It's difficult to avoid this. Not impossible, mind you, just difficult. Before the board is used in rebacking the case, I'll sand down the board on the paper and remove as much excess board material as possible. I will also sand down the board to ensure it doesn't have texture that will show through the new end paper when pasted out. Thank you for taking the time to watch this little video on lifting end papers. This is Edward Crans the Honey Badger Binder of Book Forge. And until the next time, good night.